How's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Legends of the West video. And our winner today is from Unlimited Gaming and his request for the cover art version of John Marston from Red Dead Redemption 1. And it's a surprisingly easy outfit. Like, this is going to be an absurdly short video, so pardon me as I uh, pander a bit and remind you all that there is currently a poll up on what the next Grim Place is going to be coming up next week. So be kind and by all means check that out. I've, I've got a few suggestions on there. Uh, my personal vote is Oddworld Strange's Wrath because I really want to revisit that game again. And when I saw it in the Steam library, I, uh, I, I, I couldn't resist and uh, damn near bought it on impulse. But without further ado, let's go ahead and break down this outfit piece by piece, shall we? Starting off, not with a hat, not with a coat because he's not wearing them in this particular outfit, but with the vest. For this, I personally voted for the opulent vest while it's not the same pinstripe pattern as i would have liked it does come in a striped pattern in a shade of green that works really well for it in fact it comes in two shades of green i personally vote for the darker but eh it's cover art and yeah, stylized cover art with interesting color choices so as long as it's green you're sold moving on to the shirt very simple everyday shirt just in white that's all. And do be sure to have the sleeves rolled up, as that is part of this outfit. For pants, now, I've seen other people do this outfit, and I see a number of them actually go with like pinstripe pants, and I don't know why when there's two versions of the cover art I've seen, and one of them does clearly show just brown pants. So much so that I just kind of went with the everyday pants in this darker shade of brown. I'd say it fits the look really well. I don't understand why people go with pinstripes. It's weird. Suspenders, we're not going to see them, so it doesn't matter. No chaps. Now, here's the fun part. Boots and spurs, completely dealer's choice. I, the cover art doesn't extend down that far, sadly, so I'm lucky I even caught the pants on one of them. But if I had a suggestion just for how the rest of the outfit kind of meshes and looks, I'd personally go with the worn rubber boots in black. And spurs, nah, I... If you all want spurs, you can have spurs, you know. Go with the Gurdon spurs if you really must. I must say that just because I, I love these things and they come in kind of some nice shades here and there. Yeah. Yeah, I say those work, yeah. Moving on, no masks, no bandanas. For neckwear, however, we are going to throw on the dress tie in this kind of aquamarine color. Because it is a lighter shade of green, and it does have a really stark contrast with the vest itself. So, the darker green, yeah, not so much. The aquamarine green, I don't know, that works. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. For gloves, honestly, the range gloves. As a which version? Uh, again, dealer's choice. There's not much of a difference other than the size of, uh... you call that part of the glove anyway? I never really thought about it. It's kind of like anklets on the uh, end of shoestrings. I never thought about what they're called until it was randomly brought up to me in some form or way. Hmm. Some radical viewer more knowledgeable than I am. Drop that in the comments. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm too lazy to currently look it up. For weapon equipment, we're going to throw on most of John's just primary equipment. Gun belt, primary holster, offhand holster. For bandolier, however, honestly, the stock version is kind of the one that works. We don't really have one that has the bullet loops going all the way around. The weapon expert kind of does, but there's no actual bullets in those pouches, which bothers me immensely. I, I don't know why they didn't do that. That's strange to me. Also, y'all ever notice how the bandit and the horseman bandolier actually are basically the same thing, just different colors? Weird. But no, stock bandolier, you're good. As for satchels, talismans, and such, again, completely the other choice. Well, that's it for this. Very short, very to the point. I'm really curious. I mean, if this is the cover art for Red Dead Redemption 1, why isn't it actually used in the game? I mean, granted, it's been a while since I've actually seen all the outfits available in Red Dead Redemption 1, but I think I would recall something that looks like this. And it's 
not a bad looking outfit. It's finer, but definitely very gunslinger. You know? Anyway, I'm rambling and I'm pandering. My apologies. As usual, I though, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you all did enjoy, the way of showing that support is by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, not getting run over by a carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet God. And of course, check in the description down below for the guidelines and submitting your own requests in the comments to see if it makes it into our next Legends video. Oof. Oh, and checking out the community tab on the channel and looking through the poll. Currently, the list is Call War as Gunslinger, Call War as Bound in Blood, just because they came up a lot, uh, Gun on PC, and... Our World Strangers Odyssey, because again, I, I want to revisit that game. It, it, I remember it being fun. Probably won't be, and probably hasn't aged all that well, but who knows. Maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Anyway, once again, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.